Music Time with Miss Kathy. Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Kathy back again and I'm so excited to be with you. I wish you were here sitting on the floor singing with me, but I want you to sing at home. And I hope since the last time I saw you in the camera, you have been playing and singing. And remember we talked about getting some instruments like possibly one of your mom's pots and a spoon or two wooden spoons and pretending they're rhythm sticks or some of you may have even made some instruments. We talked about getting two cups, like paper cups or plastic cups, and putting some things in it. Let's see, we talked about maybe some peas, dried peas, or some beads, or some pennies, whatever you can find around the house to put in there. And then you put the other cup up against it and you tape it, and you have a shaker. Drums can be anything. You know, drums can be a pot and a pan, um, a chair you can play on, anything to keep a steady beat. So if you have a drum close by or something you can keep a steady beat with, we're gonna start with our hello song. Of course, ready? Now it's time for music, music, music. Now it's time for music. We'll all have some fun. Let's clap a steady beat, boys and girls. Now it's time to clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Now it's time to clap hello. Now it's time for music. What about swish? That's my favorite, you know. Now it's time to swish hello, swish hello, swish hello. Now it's time to swish hello. Now it's time for music. And you may have lots of ideas. You can sing that song at home. If you have a brother or sister or a little baby you can sing to or a mom and dad or a grandma, you have fun with that song because you can make up all kinds of things to keep a steady beat. Now, last time we talked about steady beat, it's like marching. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And every piece of music has a steady beat. Sometimes the steady beat sounds like this. Sometimes it sounds like this. Faster. Sometimes it's really slow. But it's all a steady beat. Okay? Good job. We're going to start today. We've talked a little bit last time about how music's put together. We have the part that we sing, I call it the la-la part. La-la-la-la-la-la-la-la. Um, let's sing together hot cross buns. Can you sing it with me? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. That's the melody. The part of the music that you remember, like a song at church or a song on your CD player or in the car or on television, um, what you remember is the melody. It can go up, it can come down, or it can stay on the same note. And that's what we're going to learn about today. But also, we have a rhythm, which is hot cross buns. One up. Two a penny hot cross buns. So that's the rhythm of the music. Now the harmony is like if you're playing a guitar or you're playing the piano and playing some chords or a different part. That's called harmony. So we have melody, rhythm, and harmony that makes music. I brought one of my favorite books today though to show you. I love bluebirds. I hope you love bluebirds. I have one that comes to my window at my house. And when I'm teaching piano there, he comes and he stays and listens to the piano. I'm not kidding. But this book is called What Makes Music. And it's by Betty Swartz. And it's illustrated by Donna Turner. And it's a very fun book because it talks about how music's put together. There's the bluebird, mama and baby in the nest. It's a lovely day, said mama bird. I feel like singing and making beautiful music. What makes music? Asked baby bird. You need your voice to sing. 
or an instrument to play, said Mama Bird, and you need notes to make music. First comes the note, do, said Mama Bird. Do, chirped Baby Bird, and here it is. That's the first note, do. And when you're reading music, there it is, right there in the treble clef on the staff. Oh, we have do, and now we have a new one. Next, you need the note ray, said Mama Bird. Ray, repeated Baby Bird, flapping his little wings. Do, ray. Do, ray. Here's do is pink. Ray is blue. That is C and D. We're building a scale. Now you need the note me, said Mama Bird. Me, 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 me. Chirp Baby Bird ruffling her feathers. Of course, said Mama. Do, Ray, me. Do, Ray, me. There it is. Do, Ray, me, C, D, E. Can you see how those notes are going up, boys and girls? Let's see what the next one is. Do, Ray, me. Mama Bird said, next comes the note fa. Do, Ray, me, fa. Can you say fa? Fa. Here it is. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, C, D, E, F. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you have an idea of what this is beginning to look like? Oh, there's another one. Oh, I love the ladybugs. The next note is So, said Mama Bird. You cannot make music without So. So, twittered Baby Bird. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so, here it is. Do, re, mi, fa, so, and these notes are C, D, E, F, G. Some of you may know about a piano, or you may have a xylophone at home that you can play those five notes on. <sighs> Another one. La, said M Mama Bird. You also need the note la. La, 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 sang Baby Bird, fluttering happily around. So here we go. Can you sing it with me this time? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la. Do, re, mi, fa, so, La, C, D, E, F, G, A. Do you notice these letters down here? Music has what we call a musical alphabet. And I'll tell you about it in just a minute, but I think you're figuring it out. Oh, there's another one. Just two notes are left, said Mama Bird, and then we'll have a complete scale. We need the note T and the note DO. Now, we've talked about do before. Do was down here at the bottom. Do is also at the top. This is big. This is little. We're going to talk about that. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You are a very smart little bird, said Mama Bird. And look what your friends have made for you. What does it look like? Let's sing it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, 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 do. This is the low do, hi do. Here it is. Look at those notes. Can you see how they go up? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's see what his friends have made. Can you see that? Yay! It's a xylophone! And look at Baby Bird. He 
is playing the xylophone with his mallets, boys and girls. So we've talked about that in kinder music in the library when we played some xylophones and glockenspiels and resonator bars with a mallet that bounces on the bar. That's what he's doing. Look. Oh, there's a little mousy playing. A xylophone. Now you can use all the notes to play a tune, sing a song, and make beautiful music together. Now look at this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now I have something very special to show you. I brought one of my xylophones today, and you may have one of these at your house or something similar. But it, is, it looks just like the xylophone in our book. And if I turn it like this, it looks like a ladder, doesn't it, boys and girls? What do you do on a ladder? You climb up, maybe paint or change a light bulb or put a picture on the wall, and then you climb back down. Ladders go up and down. Now, these are the mallets. And we've talked about mallets before. Some mallets are small, some mallets are medium size, and some mallets are really big. Depends on the instrument you're playing. Now, this is called a soprano glockenspiel, which is in the xylophone family. The xylophone family is a group of instruments that have these bars. I'm gonna take this one off so you can see it better. Okay, that is a C. There's a C on the bottom, not sure you can see that. But this is a C, and it goes up the ladder. So I want you to listen to how this sounds. There's the scale in our book, and then we have three more notes on this xylophone. Now, some of my xylophones are big, like the bass is so big you have to lay it on the floor and sit down on your knees and you play it with a big mallet, almost that size. So, I want to show you how this works. This is the bottom of the ladder, so you can go up and you can come down. Notice I'm bouncing because that doesn't sound very pretty, does it? So there is a technique to it. You have to practice. But you bounce the ball of the mallet just like it were a basketball. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to play a couple of songs for you. And I'm mixing up all of these notes on our glockenspiel. See if you know this song. song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's do the one we just sang a while ago. Hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now do you see how I'm mixing up the notes to make a song? And remember boys and girls, we call that a melody. So I'm going to try one more for you. See if you know this song. star again but I'm going to do it kind of like a variation. A variation is when you change something. Now let me tell you something interesting about this song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Guess who made it popular? Mozart, a composer that lived long long time ago. He was very famous composer. He's, he's still very famous. Um, he wrote lots and lots of music. He wrote lots of music for piano, 
He wrote for opera. He wrote for symphonies, which I think we talked about that last time, where we have string families and woodwind family, and we have the brass family and the percussion family, and they all get together and play beautiful music together. So fun. But Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Mozart actually wrote a piano sonata based on that folk song. And so Mozart's really the one that made this very, very popular, not Sesame Street. So I'm going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star again for you, but I'm going to change it around. I'm going to make it kind of fancy. So see if you still recognize it. Did you hear it? It changed. And that's the fun thing about music is that you can make things up and change it a little bit and have fun with it. But you still need that steady beat. Can we sing our goodbye song today? And I want you to tap a steady beat on your leg. Now it's time to sing goodbye, sing goodbye, sing goodbye. Now it's time to sing goodbye. I'll see you all next time. Good day, boys and girls. Good to see you again.